What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel, and today we are going over the Breakpoint set. Now, don't be confused if you saw the uh, Rage of the Broken Sky. The Rage of the Broken Sky and Breakpoint are two different sets. Um, if you see right here, our English set is quite the mashup. These cards come from July's Embor EX versus Toki EX deck, October's Gold Duck Break and Palki EX deck, November's Double Mega Break set, uh, Mega Eric Darrow. Aerodactyl Mount, Mega Mawa, Luxury Break, and for the most part, December's Rage of the Broken Sky. There are 123 cards. Some of these cards, like I said, are going to be repeats of the new Rage of the Broken Sky, but some will not be. And if you missed that, well, now you can see everything uh, overall about Rage of the Broken Sky. Now, we're going to try to cover most of the cards in here. I mean, some of the cards we're not going to go over, like Chikorita that has Tackle and Regrow. Like, those aren't, you know, that great of attacks and you know bay leave you know it's not that great either cards like meganium we might go over like if this pokemon hp is 50 or, 50 or less this pokemon's attack does 70 more damage and there's green force 50 damage heal from this pokemon the amount of damage this attack did to your opponent's act pokemon i mean it's not that great of attack but we'll see what happens so we'll go over some cards and if there is any cards that i missed let me know down below in the comments and next week we will start wednesday's weekly report there is a lot of stuff i want to cover uh for that for sure but breakpoint will take a second to cover as well now if you want to see an article that i will write or is i'm going to write down below in the description, it might not be straight up on this Wednesday when this video comes out. It might be on Thursday or Friday. I'm actually going to do my top 10 favorite cards from Breakpoint. So if you want to see just my top 10 favorite cards from Breakpoint, then that's something you want to look into. Uh, but this is going to cover everything. And let's go over the set right now. Uh, we're going to scroll down some. You know, C-Dot, Krikatot, Krikatoon, uh, Pitail. Lilligant is interesting. Um, it says, Whimper, 20 damage during your opponent's next turn. If he or she attaches the energy to the defending Pokemon from his or hand, the defending Pokemon becomes asleep. So this is great. Uh, they automatically come to sleep. And that way they can't attack you. They will have to retreat. Um, unless they attach it to the bench Pokemon, then they can... You know, then it gets in the the bench Pokemon up. It's definitely interesting. Not that great of a competitive card. It's just cool that I think it's like I said before. This is the first time there's a Pokemon that's actually affecting your opponents on during their side of the field. Um, there is this Durant. If this Pokemon has any damage counters on it, discard top four cards of your opponent's deck. There, you could play. Prism energies, uh, but it it, ha it needs a grass and a colors. So the best way to do this attack is actually an expanded, and you can use Mu EX. Uh, you use Mu EX, and then use the ability Versatile. You attach a Rainbow er energy on it, and then put out a Dimension Valley, and that makes it where you can use Durant's attack, grind down to discard top discard top four cards of your deck, because um, it says if this Pokemon, not if Durant has any damage counters on it, so that is really great. Um, there's an Arcanine, but it's not good. Uh, Numel, Cam Rubbed. Um, Eruption seems cute. Each player discards top card for his or her deck. This tag does 60 more damage for each energy discarded that way. Uh, it's, it's cute, not great. Uh, there's an Ambori X. It's not that great either. Ambori X, 20 20 damage, uh, flip a coin so you get Talos, the sack does 20 damage, times the number of heads, and there's strong flare, it does 150 damage, discard 2 energy attached to this Pokemon, you do have Charizard EX already that can attack, and Charizard EX first deck just needs a DCE and it does 60, but the second attack, Combustion Blast, does 150. You don't have to discard two energies, but you can't use the attack next turn. But you can switch out of it and set up a new one. But Inborn makes it where you discard two energy, and then you can Blacksmith two on it. So if you're a fan of the uh, Charizard Entei deck, you could maybe change out Charizard for Inborn if you don't. Um, like, if you want to keep using Strong Flare over and over. They both do 150. They both have 108 HP. Uh, it's going to be up to you. I still think Charizard is the better attacker just because it needs a DCE to attack instead of a fire and a colorless. Um, heat more does 20 and 20 more damage as a tool. Whoopee. Uh, <laughs> next up is Golduck Break. I don't think it's great at all. Um, it's cool that there's a Golduck Break. Golden, uh, Golduck looks cool. Uh, you know, it does look cool. I like that all the break cards are golden. Uh, but its ability, not that great. As often as like during your turn before you attack, you may move a basic energy from your one of your opponent, uh, one of your opponent poke one of your Pokemon to another one of your Pokemon. Now this said as often as like during your turn, you may move a basic energy from one of your 
opponent's Pokemon to one of your other Pokemon, that would be great. Uh, because, you know, Golduck, the card before it, has overturned, discard a special energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So it'd be cool if you could combo, you know, you have overturn that could discard special energy, and then Hyper Trans, which can move a basic energy from your opponent's Pokemon, but it is from your Pokemon, so it's not that great. Um, it, it, like I said, if it said your your opponent's Pokemon, Pokemon that'd be great. Um, but it, it'd be broke because then you can use it on the bench, I don't know. Um... It's just, I wish they would somehow combo it together. But let's go down some more. Um, next up is a Slowbro. Once again, not that great of a card, but it is a cool effect. Miracle Home Run. When you use this attack, if you have one prize card remaining, you win the game. But the thing is, Slowbro needs three energies to attack. And if you have one prize card left, you're just going to attack with that Pokemon in your active instead of that Slowbro. And you're going to win the game that way. Uh, Slowking is definitely... I, it could be interesting if Crawdot rotates out uh, before Slowking does, or if it rotates at a different time. Because Slowking says, once during your turn before you attack, you may flip a coin. If Hez choose an energy attached to your opponent's act Pokemon and move it to one of, her, one of his or her bench Pokemon. See, I wish that Golden Break had this ability. Uh, that would be cool. Uh, but it is Slowking instead. And you could play like Slow King, Seismitoad, Crawdont, maybe just have more disruption. Crawdont is automatically it, it automatically guarantees, but you can only play it when you put it down. By Slow King, you can use it every turn. Um, that's the big difference there. Now let's keep on going. Uh, you know, there's a Shelter, there's a Cloister. Um, if if this Pokemon evolved from Shelter during this turn, the opponent's Act Pokemon is now paralyzed. So that is a guaranteed paralyze. And what could be interesting is you could play like Devolution Spray and keep Devolution Cloisters. The only thing you have to worry about is, you know, Keldeo and Zoroark and Switch and AZ and stuff that can get the static conditions. But if you can make your opponent run out of Switch cards, you could just keep paralyzing them over and over again and then make them deck out that way, maybe. Um, next up is going to be our first EX, I think. Did I miss a card? Hold on one second. Let me make sure. Okay, no, I didn't miss a card yet. I don't. Oh no, it's not a first EX. We had we had uh, Imbor. There we go. Alrighty. So Gyarados has Wet Weather. Flip a coin until you get tells. For each head, search your deck for a Water Energy card and attach it to this Pokemon. Shelf your deck afterwards and Splash Bang 130 does 10 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. The first stack is definitely the the main thing. You want to flip a coin to get Talos. You want to at least flip one heads to put a Water G onto this Gyarados. And the reason why is because Mega Gyarados uh, needs four energies to attack. So if you have a Water Energy, you flip a heads, you can put a Water Energy. And then next turn, you can put a DCE and start using Blast Geyser. Does 120 damage. You may, move, you may have this attack do 20 more damage times the number of Water Energy attached to this Pokemon if you do. Discard the top two cards from your deck. So the downside is you have to discard cards from your deck. But let's say you have, I don't know, six water energies on it. You do uh, 80. No. If you have four, yeah. No. If you have three? Yeah, three water energies on it. Yeah. Or let's say you have two. Let's say you have two. You attached. You use wet weather. You flip a coin. You get plus 20 more. Or right, you do. You get two waters. And then you attach a DCE. You flip heads. That's only 160. So you will need three water, but you have Mega Turbos to get water energies out. Um, but if you flip, if you get three water energies on Mega Gyarados, you can start doing 180 turn two. Um, you could, like I said, flip a coin with Wet Weather, uh, attach, then Mega Turbo, attach another energy, and that's four water energy, which is very doable. It seems like it might not be, uh, but you gotta remember you can uh, attach. Hopefully, get lucky with Wet Weather. And you attach again, and then you can Mega Turbo. That's full water energies right there. So Blast Geyser, definitely one of my favorite. Uh, Mega Gyarados overall is definitely one of my favorite Mega Water Pokemon. Um, Kyogre's probably still number one, but Mega Gyarados is definitely up there. Um, there's a Lapras. Nah. Search deck for a training card. Reveal it, to, reveal it to your opponent. Put it to your hand. Shelf your deck afterwards. It's an attack that lets you get a trainer card. It's not that great. Corsola, Suicuna. Palka EX already, and some people are hyping this card. I really don't like it that much. Aqua Tober Tur Turbo, uh, 40 damage. Search your deck for two water energy. Attach them to one of your bench Pokemon. Um, and then there's Pearl Hurricane. 
120 damage. Choose one of your opponent's bitch Pokemon. This attack does 30 damage to it. It only does 120 or 30. If it did more damage, it'd be great. It does need 4 water energy, which is a lot. And 120 doesn't even one-shot anything. So Palkia X, probably not playable. Now Manaphy, I definitely love its ability. Each of your Pokemon that has any water G attached to it has no tree cost. I mean, expanded, it's definitely not going to be played at all because you have Keldeo and then you can play Floatstone to give your water Pokemon free retreat, or at least the Keldeo. Uh, but in standard, Manaphy EX will be a very highly played card in water decks. Um, six of damage, heal 30 from each of your bench Pokemon. And these two water energies, not good. Um, now, Temple. And some people might be saying, why are you putting out Temple? What are you talking about? Well, if you like expanded and you like round from Seismitoad, um, Temple, this is the first Temple with round. Does, it says does 10 damage times never Pokemon that have the round attack. But um, in expanded and Noble Victories, I'm pretty sure it's Noble Victories, there is a Seismitoad that has round. It does 30 damage times the number of round attackers in play. And Temple, since it is, this, this is the first one with round in its name, you could play this to get the early damage from the basic temples instead of needing the Palpitoads. There is a Palpitoad with round, and obviously there's a Seismitoad with round, and there's a Meloetta with round. Um, so you can have... Now you can for sure have six round attackers out by turn one if you get like multiple temples and you get a Meloetta out. Uh, and it's great. You don't have to put that many Meloettas out. They are EX Pokemon, so they do get easily knocked out. Uh, but you can start doing 180 damage turn one uh, with the Size Toad, which is it's great. If you like the round, uh, that is something to look into because the Temple, uh, Palpitoad, not that good. Size Toad, not that good. Alrighty, let's keep on going. And like I said, if I'm missing any cards, let me know down in the comments and I'll look into them. Next up is Frogadier. Search your deck for three Frogadier and put them onto your bench. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Now notice, it doesn't say evolve three Frokies into Frogadier. It just says search for three Frogadier and put them onto your bench. And this is great. If you're a big fan of the Greninja deck that it's going to happen... Like I am, I think Greninja is going to be one of my favorite decks from the new set. Um, this Frogadier, it's definitely where you want to go. Just to get your Frogadiers out, and the next turn you can get your Greninjas out, you're ready to go. And I really, really do like this Frogadier a uh, lot. It is, you know, a stage one, and then it has a 70 HP, so it's, it's probably going to get knocked out. But next turn you'll have three Frogadiers ready to go if there's none prized. Uh, next up is Greninja. Now... There is another Greninja, if you're going to play Greninja Break, that is the same, or just as good. It has, it, you discard a Water Energy from your hand, do 30 damage to a Pokemon. I'm not sure how this split's going to go. Uh, it might be a 2-2 two -two split, it might be a 3-1 split, but I think this Greninja is definitely going to be playable. It has the attack Shadow Slip until, your, until the end of your opponent's next turn. Each Pokemon he or she has in play in his or her hand in his or her discard pile has no abilities. Uh, so that's great. It can automatically turn off abilities every single turn. And you can keep using your abilities as well. Well, I mean, once you attack, your turn's over regardless. Uh, but, you know, there's so many Pokemon that have abilities in this game right now. And just shutting them off every turn is great. We know how strong Hex Maniac is. A Greninja can help even more. Uh, Gecko Slash, 60 damage. You may choose one Water Energy attached to this Pokemon. Returns to your hand if you do this attack to 20 more damage. Uh... Greninja only needs one energy to attack, so why wouldn't you do this, is my question. And also, Greninja has zero retreat cost, which is great. Um, so that's cool. Uh, but now there's Greninja Break. And Greninja Break is an amazing card. Um, once during your turn, before you attack, and this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may discard a Water Energy from your hand, then put six damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon, uh, which is great. I mean, you can spam this over and over again. If you have multiple Greninjas out, and uh, if you have multiple Greninjas break and the other Greninja, you can do, you know, uh, 60 from the Greninja break, 30 from the other Greninja. You can free retreat with this Greninja, set up another Greninja, and do 60 and 30 again, and you're doing 180 damage just with four uh, shuriken attacks, which are shuriken abilities, which is amazing. And I really, really do like that concept. And then you can use Shadow Slip, making where your opponent can't play, it has no abilities. And that's, I don't know, that's amazing to me. Uh, maybe I'm crazy, maybe it's not that great, but I really do think that's a great card. And like I said, 
It's going to be interesting to see how many of these Greninjas we play. What's the split count? Is it going to be 2-2 or 3-1? It's definitely my question. You are definitely going to play one of these. I'm just not sure how many. Alrighty, so I'm going to start freaking, about, freaking out about Greninja. And also, I think the other Greninja has a 1 or 2 cost. And if it does, you can play this Manaphy right here. Or this, uh, yeah, the Manaphy to give all your water Pokemon free retreat to have water energy attached to it. Um, so it's it's all good. We're good to go. All right, and you know, grass Pokemon aren't played either, so another bonus. All right, sorry, we'll keep on going. Um, Electabuzz, Electifire, Shinx, uh, Luxio, Luxray, back out 100 damage during your opponent's next turn. Damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's attack is reduced by 20. But here's Luxray Break, and I know a lot of people love Luxray, and let's go over it. Now, the first thing to note is that Luxray Break is definitely, it's like a stage 3. Because you have uh, you have the Shinx, and then you evolve into Luxio, and then you gotta evolve into Luxray, and then you gotta evolve into Luxray Break. So it's like a stage 3 Pokemon, so it's gonna be hard to get Luxray out. And if you can get it out, you can use Wild Rush, it does 130 damage. Flip a coin until you get Talos for each head, this attack does 40 more damage. So with one heads, you can do 170 damage. And depending on the format, you can have uh, the Reflip Victini, or you can have the uh, the Trick Coin, making it where you can flip. You know, both these make it where you can reflip again. And if you like Luxray, you can try it out. It's not going to be that competitive of a deck. It's going to be more of a fun deck. But I know a lot of people like Luxray. Like I said, I do like the Break cards because they are golden. Uh, there's a Blitzel, there's a Zep Striker. As long as Pokemon to play, damage from your Lightning Pokemon's attacks isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. There's a Hypno. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may use his abilities. Both players' active Pokemon are now asleep. This could be interesting, and I'll show you why in a second. Uh, next up is Espeon EX. Um, I, I just like the first tech a lot. Devolve each of your opponent's evolved Pokemon and put the highest stage evolution card on it into, into your opponent's hand. Now, there's a lot of decks that aren't playing evolved Pokemon, so obviously Espeon is not used a lot. But I really just want to see a Dusnor Espeon EX deck. I'm not sure what you partner with it, but if you can like spread the damage out with Dusnor with the Sinister Hand ability, and then you use Espeon EX to devolve a bunch of Pokemon, I really want to see a deck like that happen. I'm not sure if it will happen, but it definitely be something fun to look into. Uh, Scorpia, Scorpi, Scorpia, not sure how to play, say the name. Drapion, Sigilyph. I do like Sigilyph's first attack during your opponent's next turn, and this Pokemon takes any damage from an attack. Put five damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. We'll go over in a second why I like that. And next up is Garboder, uh, the reprinted Garbotoxin. Uh, <laughs> and as much as I'm hyping Greninja Break, this card ruins a lot of stuff. It makes it where it says, and this Pokemon has a tool card attached to it. Each Pokemon to play in each player's hand. And each player's discard pile has no abilities except Garbotoxin. Now this does just destroy the Greninja deck. But maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to beat it. Because you can't play Megaphone to get rid of tools. And then you can... Uh, Double Water Shuriken for 60, and then use the Break for another 60, doing 120 damage, which can knock out the Garboder. Um, so maybe, fingers crossed, that it will work. Um, next up is Esper, but, I mean, so before we go into Esper or anything else, Garbodor, Garbotoxin is one of the strongest abilities. It did win U.S. Nationals for a reason, and you, watch out for states, watch out for everything. Garbodor, Garboder will be coming uh, in your standard format for sure. Now let's keep on going, um, we're gonna keep on going, going, going. If I'm missing anything, once again, let me know. But next up is gonna be Phantom. Search the deck for a card that evolves from Phantom and put it on, in, onto this Phantom. This counts as Evolving Phantom. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Now this is cool because it guarantees you a Trevnet, but you can't use this turn one, obviously, because you can't attack turn one. So it comes to a decision, do you still play Wally um, to get out the turn one Trevenant, or do you just get rid of Wally and just, you know, hope if you don't attack turn one, um, a opponent doesn't play too many item cards? Not really sure. Um, Trevenant with the Seed of Anxiety, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's base attacks cost one more colors, and then energy press 70 more damage to attack just 10 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. I do like this ability. 
I wish, I don't know, I think the other Trevenant's still better, but Trevenant E Break is what I'm really excited for. I'm really excited for this Trevenant. Now, like I said, there's another Trevenant uh, from XY, which makes it where your opponent can't play any item cards. And then once you get Trevenant Breakout, it has a really, really good attack. Silent Fear plays three damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon. And you can keep doing this, and all you need is a Psychic and a Dimension Valley. If you notice, there's a Psychic and a Colors. This makes it where you need a Dimension Valley, and you can only attack, you only need one energy to attack, and you can start doing 30 damage everywhere. You have 160 HP, and it's going to be hard to take down this Trevenant for sure. And I really do like this combo of using Trevenant to uh, make it where your opponent can't play item cards, and then you're spreading 30. Spread it 30, spread it 30, spread it 30, and once you get this trim out, you're good to go. It's basically a stage 2. It's, it might seem like it's hard, but it's not, I promise. Um, so to Wudo, Gibble, Gabite, and here is Garchomp. Now, Garchomp is one of the most hyped cards right now. Um, I personally, I know a lot of people are going to freak out. I don't like this card a lot, but I know why people like it. So the attack is Assault Turbo. It does 60 damage. Choose one energy card in your discard pile and attach it to one of your Pokemon. Now, this is one energy card, not a basic, any energy card. So, you can get back special energies like DCE, which is the main thing. You, you know, DCE, you only play four of those in your deck. So, Garchomp Assault Turbo could be a great attack. Um, if you're playing a deck that only plays four DCE, you can get them back with this Assault Turbo while still doing damage. But I don't know, I still like my Lordic over Garchomp. I understand that you can attack with Garchomp and you can use it over and over again. Now, you're not going to play the, the Gibble and the Bites. You're going to be using Maxis to get out Garchomp like we saw in Evil Gallade. I don't know. I, I, a, lot, a lot of people are hyping up. I don't really like it. And then uh, Biting Pledge. Uh, yeah, Biting Pledge. Um, it does 80 damage if your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon EX. This attack does 80 more damage. So we're 160. Then I must have been 160. I wish the Garchomp had a break. And then maybe you'd be competitive. I just think 130 HP is too low. I think like Pokemon's 150 is is enough. I don't think 130 is it might be enough. We'll see. I don't this is one of the cards I'm definitely a big maybe on right now. Um, but we'll see what happens with Garchomp for sure. Uh, Pancham, Nuzleaf, Shiftry. Shiftry's not good. I wish it was good, but it's not. Uh, Dark REX. Uh, and I really, really do like this Dark REX a lot. And he's a DC versus 4th first attack. It does 20 damage, and the attack does 20 damage for each Dark Energy attached to all of your Pokemon. Not just on the active, but all over. So if there's, um... Let's say there's eight Dark Energy in play, which is a lot. Most Dark decks only play like seven, but you could play eight. If you get all eight out, there's 160, and then plus a 20, which is 180, but that's not even counting like Muscle Bands and other stuff. Uh, the max you might need is six? Uh, yeah, I think, let me try to think here. No, maybe seven. Uh, 14, 15, 16, yes, yeah, seven. Seven, you can have seven and then a Muscle Band or some other stuff. And you can start doing, taking knockouts on Pokemon that have 180 HP. Dark Head, 80. If your opponent's act poke, if, if your opponent's act Pokemon is asleep, this attack does 80 more damage. Um, and you could combine this. Uh, let me go back up real quick with the Drowsy. Um, I think Drow. If if I mess this up, then I'm gonna be yeah. You can play Drowsy once during your turn before you attack. You may use this ability if both players act Pokemon are now asleep. Um, and you can make it where you're asleep, and then you can do 80, and then, uh, 80, so that's 160, and then plus a Muscle Band, 180, it only needs a Dark and a DCE, and I'll show you in a second how you can get rid of, get, how you can get rid of Status Conditions in one second to get rid of that sleep. Uh, there's a Pangoro, there's a Scizor, and a Mega Scizor, I wish these cards were good. Gelthurst from Scizor EX, if this Pokemon was on your bench and became your active Pokemon, does 60 more damage, so 110. Not that strong for two energies, and there's Iron Crusher 120. You may either discard a special energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon or discard a stadium in play. Now, I mean, don't get me wrong, there are going to be people who play Mega Scizor, um, they want to do 120, but it's just not going to take any knockouts. And we're in a, a game right now, or we're in a, a, in a format right now, where if you're not taking a knockout every turn, you're basically down. Uh, and that's where Mega Scizor is kind of bad because you have to two shot most things, and that's not fun at all. Um, there's a Mawile, there's a Feral Seed, there's a Feral Thorn. 
And I do like the Spike Whip. It does 10 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon times the number of colors in their retreat cost. Um, there's multiple ways to bump up the retreat cost of your opponent's Pokemon. So maybe Spike Whip can do uh, some spread a lot of damage. It does need a metal and a colors, or DCE, sorry. I'll have to see. This is definitely a, a big maybe as well. But I definitely, this is more of a fun deck for sure. Uh, but I'll probably test it out and see what happens. Um, next up is uh, Toad Kiss is bad, sorry. Uh, we're going to keep on going. Next up is going to be this Eradicate Break. Now, I, I want to say it's good. It's going to be good in theory. It's going to be good for fun. It's going to be good for some some league challenges, maybe some fun. Now, right, Radicate Break, Super Fang, put damage counters on your opponent's act Pokemon until its HP is 10. Now, we saw this in the older sets with Radicate. You know, it automatically did this. You weren't a break. Uh, but this one, for standard, seems okay. And... Because you can play this Ariados, it makes where both active players or act, active Pokemon are poison, and that means Super Fang can knock down your opponent. You put 10 damage counters to us, 10, and then um, you knock him out with Ariados, unless they're a grass type, and that's the only big thing. If they are a grass type, the Ariados Radicate Break combo doesn't work. Now you might be saying, oh, you don't want to poison yourself. Why would you poison yourself? But Raticate has an ability antibody. This Pokemon can't be affected by any special conditions. So it cannot be affected by Aridos, which is great. Um, it is a cool combo. Not going to be that good. Um, once again, I love these gold cards. Look at that Raticate gold already. Um, let's keep on going. Next up is Ho-Oh EX. Now, this is my favorite card from the set overall. I, I mean, I love this card. It's probably not the best card, but it's my favorite card. It isn't my favorite card. Yes, I'll give Ho OEX my favorite card for sure. Once during your turn before you attack, and this Pokemon has any basic fire energy attached to it, you may heal 50 damage from this Pokemon. So you can heal 50 from every turn, which is great. Uh, but Ho Oh Ho Oh uh, has the attack Elemental Feather. Now, it does need a Grass, Water, and Lightning, which is pretty crazy. It sounds like it's going to be hard to set up, and it, it's going to be hard to set up, but that's why I like this card a lot. Um, but the attack is good. does 130 damage, and then you choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, and this attack does 30 to it. And with the Muscle Band, you can do 150. So you can do 150 and 30. Next turn, Life Center Pokemon do 150 and 30. Take two knockouts, and I really do like this combo a lot. Is it the best? No, it's not the best. But I, I just like this concept. We saw Dark IX run the format with this Night Spear attack. Um, or Dark Spear, depending on who you are. Um, but <laughs> Night Spear did 90 and 30. And this dude won 30 and 30. Oh man, I can't wait to play this card. Um, next up is Glamiel. There's a Perugly, Perugly, uh, Furfru. And that's all the Pokemon in here. Once again, if I miss any Pokemon, let me know. But now, let's go over some cards. Now, the first attack is, uh, first card is a Stadium card. It's All Night Party. Once during each player's turn, that player may remove the special condition of sleep from his or her active Pokemon. If that player does, heal 30 damage from that Pokemon. Now, okay, it's a long combo, but we'll go over it here in a second, uh, right now. So remember... This is Dark Ix. It has the attack Dark Head. 80 damage if your opponent's Pokemon. If your opponent's act Pokemon is asleep, this attack does 80 more damage. So it does 160. But how do we put him asleep? Well, we use Drowsy, which is right. Uh, or Hypno, sorry. Hypno. Uh, it, may put, it puts both players' act Pokemon asleep. Alrighty. So we know how we're making them asleep. And then now we have this Stadium card that can get rid of status con or get rid of the sleep. So you can get rid of the sleep and heal 30 damage from that Pokemon. And that is a cool little combo right there. I'm not saying it's the best combo, but it is a cool combo that you can pull off. Next up is Burst Balloon. Um, if, this poke, if this card is attached to a Pokemon at the end of your opponent's turn, discard this card. When this Pokemon, this card is attached to a damage by an opponent's attack, put 6 damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. Let's scroll up once again. Now we're going to combine this card. And this is just right point there is probably other different ways you can do all this stuff but i'm just pointing out some cool combos just with, just within the breakpoint set but if you have siglyph uh, and use reflective shield and they attack your siglyph they take 110 damage now i know that's not that great i mean siglyph has 90 hp it's gonna get knocked out easily um but you can play dementia valley making it where you don't even need an energy and then you can play 
you know, just uh, the reflective, sh you can just use the reflective shield over and over again, and then you can use the burst balloon, and you can do 110 damage every turn, and if they do do that, you know, they're going to take 110 damage, and once they do that again, they're going to get knocked out. Now, I'm not sure if the trade-off is that great, but it's definitely going to be a fun gimmick deck, and I'm really excited to try it out for sure. Uh, let's keep on going back. Sorry, I keep scrolling back and forth. I think that's the last time I scroll back and forth, though. Uh, next up is Delinqua. Now, I know this is Andrew Wambaugh's, like favorite card from the set. This card is Stadium Card in play. If you do, your opponent chooses three cards from his or her hand and discards them. Now, a lot of people do play their hands down to two or three cards. Sometimes, you know... I mean, let's go. Let's look at Expanded. There is a Blastoise deck, and sometimes, you know, they might whiff the turn one Archies. And if they do with the turn, turn one Archies, they're going to try to play their hand down as low as they can to help them next turn use the Archies. But then you can delink with them, make it aware, uh, you know, they discard three cards from their hands. Yeah, discard a card to play. If you do, your opponent chooses three cards and discards them. That shuffles into their deck. They discard them. Um, and it actually makes things like interesting like your opponent has to you know decide what three cards they want to discard and it's going to be cool uh, maybe a cool deck out card for sure but I think it's going to be a one of in almost every deck Andrew did point this out because at any moment you can verse seeker for a delinquent and make it where if your opponent has three cards well they're going to have to discard them and hopefully they draw into something so delinquent is definitely going to be a highly played uh, supporter card definitely a one of and some deck out decks maybe a four of uh, next up is Fighting Free Belt. You can only attach this Pokemon with a pull tool that doesn't have a tool attached to it. The basic Pokemon this card's attached to is Max HP. <laughs> Sorry about that. The Pokemon this card's attached to to get. Oh, what? Hold on, hold on. We're going to try it again. The basic Pokemon this card is attached to gets its max HP increased by 40 and its attacks do 10 more damage. There we go. So let's say you attach this on a Pokemon EX. Well,. That EX Pokemon now has 210 damage and does 10 more damage. Now it's going to come down to which is better. Do you like Muscle Band with that plus 20 damage? Or do you want the plus 40 HP for your basic EX Pokemon? Uh, it's going to be definitely up to you to decide. Great Ball, we know what that does. Spirit Link for Gyarados, so your turn doesn't end. Max Elixir, one of my other favorite cards from this deck. And you can partner with this Ho-Oh. Remember that Ho-Oh does need three different energies and four if you're trying to use the ability. But Max Elixir says, look at the top six cards of your deck. You may choose a basic energy card you find there and attach it to one of your basic bench Pokemon. I kind of wish it said basic Pokemon, but I guess they don't want it too broke by attaching to your active. Uh, but I think this is going to be one of the most heavily played item cards from the new set besides some others. Uh, but I, 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 uh, uh, I don't know. It's going to be really good. I love it a lot. Max Elixir going to be good for sure. Next up, Max Potion. We know what this does. This is the reprint. Heal all damage from one of your Pokemon. Then discard all energy attached to that Pokemon. Now, this card was already expanded, but it's standard. It's going to be great as well. You have those Bronze Zone decks that can, you know, you heal all the damage. Then you can you stand in with Zork, and they move all the energies back onto it with Metal Links. You have Aromatizzi, which you can move around the energies, and then use Max Potion to heal your Pokemon. Uh, we, we've seen all this stuff in Expanded, and just now it's the standard. Next up is Misty's Determination. Discard one card from your hand, then look at the top eight cards of your deck. Choose one and put it into your hand. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. Now, some people are saying this card is bad. Um, they're like, why don't you just you know play an Ultra Ball or something else if you want to? Uh, but... I don't know. It seems cool. Let's say, like, you have Gallade on the field. Let's say you're playing Evital Zork Gallade. And you have a, a Gallade on the field, and you use Premonition. And you look at the top five cards of your deck, and you're like, man, there's a DCE in there I really, really want. Well, then you can use Misty's Determination to get out that DCE for sure, because you can just look at the top eight cards of your deck, put one of them into your hand, which is great. I really do like this combo with Gallade. For sure, it's going to see itself into other decks if you just like, oh, I really need this one card. There's only seven. I mean, how many times have you like, have you said, there's only, you know, eight cards in my deck. If 
I only get, if I play an acro bike and try to hit the two, whatever, then I can win the game, or hit the one, I can win the game. Uh, but, I mean, you can just play Misty's Determination to look at the top eight and guarantee that one card that you know it's in your deck to win the game, uh, which is very cool for sure. Uh, Pokemon Catcher is being reprinted, Potions being reprinted, Sycamore is being reprinted. Psychic my reading, I don't really like this card. Your opponent reveals his or her hand, then you discard as many cards from your hand as you like, then draw that many cards. Not that great. Uh, puzzle of time. All right, time to go over the card that everybody is hyping up for sure. You may play two time puzzle at the same time. If you play one, look at the top three cards of your deck and put them on top of your deck in any order you like. Not that great. What we're looking at is the second attack or second ability, or second effect. If you play two, if you play two, choose two cards from your discard pile, show them to your opponent, and put them into your hand. Now, this is a great effect for sure, because you're going to guarantee those two cards out of your discard pile, whatever they want, whatever you want. You can grab a DC and a life center to win the game. There's so many different combos with Puzzle of Time. Now, the thing you have to worry about is there's so many cards that discard cards in the game. You have like Ultra Ball, you have Sycamore, and if you accidentally discard some puzzle, some time, a puzzle of time, then you can't use the second effect. So it's gonna be weird for sure. I really do like this card a lot in other decks. Um, Save like Garbodor is obviously one of the most um, obvious combos. You junk hunt, get back two puzzle of times. You can use that, get any two cards out of your discard pile, and repeat the process over and over again. And now it's going to be like an, an expanded, you're just going to junk hunt for two puzzle of times. I don't see why, unless you're playing against Seismitoad, but even then, you're still going to do it because, or you might just confuse right against Seismitoad. You really don't need puzzle of time. Um, you're just going to junk, you're just going to, um, you're just going to confuse Ray to try to make your Toad can't attack you. Uh, but besides that, I mean, there might be some other decks. It's going to be interesting just for sure to see what puzzle of time does to the game. Uh, next up is Reverse Valley. Blue side, it's another double-sided uh, stadium card. Choose which way this card faces before you play it. This player down, metal Pokemon take 10 lumps damage. But the main thing we will look at is the red side. This player's Pokemon's dark attacks do 10 more damage. And obvious, this is an obvious combo with the Fighting Spirit Belt, I think that's what it's called. Uh, Fighting Fury Belt, sorry. Now remember that Fighting Fury Belt increases 40 and does 10 more damage. And the stadium makes it where... You do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Now, you got to remember... Hold on, let me make sure before I say this. Yeah, you got to remember that Fighting Fury Belt only affects basic Pokemon. So, if your deck revolves around Zorark in any way, then Muscle Band might still be better because you need to do that 180 damage and not that 160 to knock out a Pokemon. And if you... You might need to play both Muscle Band and Fighting Fury Belt, but still, I, I love this combo of Fighting Fury Belt and this Dark Stadium. It's obviously a really good combo. Uh, Spirit Link, Tierno gets reprinted. Splash Energy. This card can only be attached to water Pokemon. This card provides a water energy. If the water Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, return all Pokemon cards to the opponent's owner's hand instead of discarding them. Now, once again, this is going all the way back to where we talked about, and this card is going to be played in Greninja because you can attach this to a Greninja Break, and if they knock you out, you're just like, okay. I'll put down, I'll, I'll really put down the, uh, the Froakie, and then you can put down the Frogadier, put down the Greninja, the Greninja Break. You have all those cards going back into your hand, which I really do like a lot. And, uh, next up is going to be some full art cards, uh, and, uh, let's look at them, if they'll load, or uh, maybe not. Okay, there's the, the Mega Gyarados full art. Let's see if Gyarados, I guess Gyarados not going to load. Uh, Manaphy EX full art. There's the Espeon EX full art, not going to load. Dark REX, there's a Dark REX, that looks cute. Um, Scizor, Mega Scizor, there we go. Iron Crusher, um, Ho uh oh, look at that, that looks amazing. Oh my goodness. All right, for Skyla is confirmed for this set as well. I know everybody loves some Full Art Skyla, so there you go, Full Art Skyla is uh, reprinted. And the, old, the only golden card is the Shiny Red Gyarados, and there you go, that is Breakpoint. Uh, what do you think about it? Hopefully this video is not too long. If you're still watching it, let me know. Comment down below what's your favorite card. Uh, if I missed anything, once again, let me know. There is 123 cards, so I know I probably missed something. But hopefully you have a great day. 
Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And if you're watching this video right now, thank you for sticking around this long to hear me rant on about Breakpoint. But have a great day. Alrighty. Bye.